Hey guys, Jonathan Feist here for Drone Rush. We're going to sit down with Michael from Precision Hawk to talk about some of their new software. My name is Michael Chasen. I'm the CEO of Precision Hawk, and we're here at AUVSI Exponential showcasing what I think is going to be that, that principal key technology that moves drone adoption usage from just having strong growth to really exponential growth. So I think uh, appropriately named uh, here at the AUVSI Exponential Conference. People have been using drones for the last few years to really start collecting uh, aerial imagery, higher resolutions, uh, use it for uh, data storage and analysis. And what's happened in the industry is that companies that first just originally thought, hey, we need to start collecting this data using drones are now asking the, the, the necessary follow-up question, which is, okay, well, what are we going to do with all of this data? We have a client we're flying uh, 60,000 transmission structures for uh, that's going to generate over 3 million different images that they were previously planning on having just individuals uh, look at or examine. And now we're sitting down with them and saying, hey, you know what? You really should look at the power of AI in machine learning because you can take these high-resolution drone aerial images and then start applying computer vision, 3D modeling, automation and uh, artificial intelligence and have the system itself start to identify not only the different uh, assets and components on your structures but also potential problems and not only examining the systems today but then starting to use predictive analytics to identify potential problems for the future as well. Well it really depends on the, uh, on the, on the quality of the images so we recommend if you're using a drone you're using a high megapixel drone uh, we're finding a lot of uh, success especially using 20 megapixel drones at this point we're even doing some projects with 100 megapixel drones um, but you know I think that this software technology is what's going to drive the entire drone industry to get much more massive adoption because now you're able to really show that you can take this high-end uh, image and get good prescriptive analytics from it to actually influence the way that you do business today. We're doing a lot of work, both as you just mentioned, in the energy space, but as well as the agriculture and telecom space all around AI, where we have now taken tens of thousands of images and started training our system to be able to both identify components and identify potential problems. Now yes, what our system does do though is it takes into account that we may be taking uh, different photos of the same object compare all of those together when then making its predictive analytics. So it'll look at multiple photos, but know it's a single object. Here I am standing in front of Precision Analytics. This is a next generation machine learning, artificial intelligence, and computer vision product that we built and released specifically for the energy and the agriculture market. And we're very excited to be here at AUVSI demoing this technology that we believe is going to be a driving force towards uh, drone adoption and uh, enterprise deployment. So what energy companies can do now for the very first time is see in one location all of their different energy assets, whether it's distribution lines or transmission lines or wind turbines or solar panel fields, and get a sense of their entire energy infrastructure. You can then do a deep dive into one of those areas, so I can go ahead and uh, move into distribution lines and see just where my distribution lines are. Let me go ahead and pull up one of the distribution lines. And in one place, you can get all of your drone aerial information, whether it's from a visual sensor, a thermal, a LIDAR. And by putting all this information in one place, there are really three benefits. The first is I can go ahead and easily generate reports. And uh, uh, for example, do a condition assessment report because all this information is now in one place. And we can go ahead and process and generate uh, great reports. I can go ahead and go back to the info and I can go ahead and since people across different companies are going to be accessing this, they can make notes and say, oh hey, here's something that needs to be reviewed at this asset we just had reviewed. But the most important and third thing is tagging in AI. So I can go ahead and blow this image up full screen by clicking on it and then uh, now I'm taking a look at uh, an image here and so someone sitting uh, at a desk can be reviewing the aerial imagery and you know, let me start using some of the computer vision. I can go ahead and turn off the environment and now it's very easy for me to see the asset that I want to review. I'll go ahead and turn it back on though. And now let me see what the computer has found when it examines this image by going ahead and clicking on the AI. And now suddenly I'm seeing all of the different pieces and assets that the computer was able to automatically identify. Um, and actually even more than this, a couple of people across the company have probably looked at this asset. I'll go ahead and see what other users have also um, seen. Let me go ahead and click on that. And now I'm getting a whole bunch of things that have been tagged in this picture, but what I'm most interested in are where there are some potential problem areas. So let me click show only problems, and now I'm actually looking just at some potential issues that need to be addressed. I'll go ahead and click on this uh, red arrow over here, 
and uh, let me click on it one more time and I'll zoom in and I can actually see the system is identified on the steel arm that there's a little bit of damage it puts in a severity level two and now I can uh, go ahead and send a work order to the right person to be able to close this out I can just go X and close out of that. So what's really exciting is that you can use this artificial intelligence on all these images that you're now capturing to make actionable business decisions that can fundamentally improve the way you're doing business. Thank you so much for joining us. Very excited to talk about the future of drones and artificial intelligence, what I think is going to be the driver of this next huge exponential growth you're going to see in the drone industry. Hard to deny, AI and machine learning seem like a great way moving forward, especially to handle all of those drone photos and videos that you know we all take. Thanks for joining us. If you like what you see here, we always appreciate that thumbs up. And if you want to see what we have coming next, which will be plenty more from AU VSI Exponential here in Chicago, uh, please hit that bell icon when you subscribe. Thanks again. Fly safe.